Here's a quick demo of one of the major features added in the 2.2 release of X-Ray, custom scenarios. This feature allows users to export, create, modify, and import scenarios into the X-Ray server. For instance, if you didn't want uh, the number of VMs deployed as part of one of the scenarios, you could export that test, modify it, and re-import it back into X-Ray with exactly the settings that you wanted to run. This feature also allows new scenarios to be developed by folks outside the X-Ray team, and the X-Ray team can deliver scenarios asynchronous to product release cycles. So you don't have to wait for the next version to come out before a new scenario could be made available to you. So let's take a quick look at some of the features here. We'll start with export. So any of the scenarios that are listed in the, in the run test dialog, you can export by going over to the actions and export list. So let's take a look here. Let's try the, let's do the sequential node failure test. So we can export this, download your zip file. Inside the zip file, you'll have the files that make up that complete scenario. So in this case, we have the test.yaml file, which is required to describe what the scenario does. And we have the OLTP FIO file, which describes the OLTP workload. Open both of them up. So inside the test.yaml file, we have the name, display name, description, variety of things that show up in the UI, as well as the scenario description. So the VM groups, the workloads that those VMs run, the results that are shown in the UI and how they're created, and the steps for the scenario. So we have a setup step, or setup phase, run phase, and teardown. So any modifications you wanted to make, you can make them in here. Or if you wanted to modify the OLTP workload, maybe for something like you want to change block size or working set size or anything like that, you can do that in the standard FIO file. So again, this is a standard FIO description file. There's nothing new or X-ray specific in here other than the disks that are used for the FIO workloads have to be there. And those are determined based on the template you use uh, described in the test.yaml. So let's make a minor modification here. Let's just give it a new name. This is one of the things that's required if you make any modifications. So you have to change the name and the display name to be unique. Otherwise, X-Ray will complain that it's not a unique test. To import this test into X-Ray, we can use the gear icon up at the top, add custom scenario, and navigate to our files. So we have them here in our modified test directory. Do note that you don't have to create a new zip file, so you don't have to repackage it as a zip file to import it in X-Ray. You can just select all the files that make up a scenario, open it, and import. Behind the scenes, X-Ray is parsing the test.yaml file, making sure it looks good, you can read it all, and all the supporting files are also present. If we look in the run test dialog, we'll see that my new test is down here at the bottom. I didn't make any changes to this, but you can at least see that the new test would show up in the list. If for some reason we didn't like this test, it's as simple as going over to the actions and deleting. And this will remove it from your X-ray instance. The thing to note is that you can't remove the existing tests because the ones that are prepackaged with X-ray uh, are not deletable. Hopefully you can see that this is a pretty powerful feature allowing you to create new custom scenarios and the delivery of new scenarios can be asynchronous to releases.